Hey guys, so I got a package in the mail and it is from Art by Karen e. Haley and it's our collab that we're doing together. So I'm going to open up that right now, but I'm not showing you guys because it's a surprise obviously, so I guess you could consider it another secret project. And some people have been asking about the Mulan picture. That is also a collab, so I sent it off to the artist I'm collaborating with. So things are in the works, but I'm going to open this up. I'm super excited. And there is a really cute electrode on it. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. A little star. How dare they put this sticker on it? I think I can peel it off. Excellent. Okay, before I open this up, because you're not going to see what's inside, but I just wanted to show the outside because it's so cute. Look how she wrapped this. Aww. Sark, sark. I need some cute tissue paper like this. Oh my god, you guys. Her artwork is so good. I can't wait for you guys to see our collab together. Oh my god. The colors are amazing. The picture, like the concept is funny and amazing. The colors in the background. The colors everywhere. The style of... Oh god. Oh god. This is gorgeous. I'm super excited to work on this. And what I like is... I know how ridiculously awesome she is at backgrounds and so I was excited like I'm excited to challenge myself to try and like mimic her techniques and style and stuff and push myself to see what I can do so oh man this is exciting I can't wait to start working on this but first I gotta finish Cora and bail mail <laughs> so just to not tease you guys too much I am gonna open a package and show you what is inside of it and this is the one I mentioned in my previous I think it was the Halloween vlog um, the one I got from Australia from Kit Kat so I'm gonna open up this one right away holy smokes there's a lot here okay let's push it aside and bring everything out one by one a bumble Bailey with metallic -y flower that looks really good and I like how it's a cutout flower shape too awesome <gasps> open last ooh and here we have some stickers oh my god <gasps> little cube creatures oh, the raccoon the raccoon oh my god I can't they're all so cute but oh my god the mouse looks funny too the raccoon and the mouse just the way their forearms look is I think what makes it hilarious <laughs> some sweet stickers for a sweet person oh. And then more stickers. Ooh, I wonder if these are smelly, because the one on the cover or on the envelope was smelly. Hold on. Yep, they're smelly. <laughs> that was orange. This one's grape. Ooh, ooh, that one was really good. My battery's flashing, so hopefully we can get through this before it dies. Me! Riding a Copic. Oh, I'm like surfing on a Copic. <laughs> that is awesome. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. I like see everything at once and I'm like, I just want to look at it all at once. More smellies. Sniff those in a minute. <laughs> oh, Judy! <laughs> Judy's lumière. Oh, my God. Okay. oh, that is too good. That is too good. That is awesome. And another, the mermaid version. There's the whole shebang here. We got like the kind of regular me, like how I draw myself in my Goofy Bailey picture. We've got the Bumble Bailey and then Belle Bailey or Bale <laughs> and then Mermaid Bailey. That is so awesome. Oh God, Judy's hair looks fabulous like that. That is so cool. And then more smelly stickers. Ooh, chocolatey ones, chocolatey ones. And then this. Oh my God, there's another raccoon on the back. We have two raccoons. And that was my favorite one. I got an awesome letter and look at this cool background that they made for it. It's cool, take a kind of normal piece of paper, turn it into some cool stationery. And this was written on my birthday, woot woot. And she says her Instagram is underscore KitKat underscore crafter underscore. So if you want to check her out. Well, I'm assuming it's a she. Sorry if you're a he. I just, I sometimes make assumptions like that. So I'm sorry if I'm getting that wrong. And then she says I might get Tumblr soon. Is it any good? I definitely think it is. I don't post a whole lot there. 
but that's because I went, I kind of transitioned from using Tumblr, I first used it for a bunch of personal posts, then I decided to start using it just to reblog art, and I would go searching different art tags and reblog art. And then I just kind of gave up on that, and now I'm moving back towards making it a personal account, so I will still reblog the odd thing, but I'm going to try to limit it to like posting pictures of my art, posting little blurbs about something that happened, or posting links to my videos, that kind of stuff. It is really cool, like once you find some blogs to follow, it's really cool. It's also fun to look up different fandoms, like after I watch the Korra episodes, I go to Tumblr, I search the Korra tag, and it's just, I don't know. It, it's kind of like random blog content, but you can see everyone's blogs on your dashboard and just scroll endlessly. And it's a, it's a nice way to kill time if you're bored. So it's also a nice t way to kill time when you need to be doing work. But <laughs> yeah, Tumblr is actually really, really cool. I don't post as much as I should, but I am on Tumblr most days, even if it's just real quickly, look at a few things while I'm waiting for videos to copy over or something. So yeah. So yeah, thank you so much KitKat for all this stuff, and uh, you mentioned, you said, I know it's not much since people send you huge packages now. No, 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 this is a ton of stuff, okay? I've actually only received like a few, like a small number of packages. This is a lot, trust me, don't, I don't want people to feel like their package isn't good enough if they don't send a ton of stuff. Like this is more than enough, this is ridiculously awesome, I love the artwork, I love the stickers, everything so thank you so much Kit Kat and don't feel bad because this is a lot this is a lot so we watched once upon a time I really like that episode and now I'm gonna reply to my pen pal letter and I'm gonna use this stationery that I got I don't know if anyone remembers but when I went home for my family reunion there was a silent auction and I won this stationery set oh, oh. I just hate how this does not stay up that's the only downfall. I think this ribbon needs to be just a tad longer so this can lean back a bit. But yeah, got some really cute paper. This part opens up. So there's cards and then there's stationery. Oh yeah, and by the way, my Copics are right here because I don't know, I just wanted them in the background for the behind the scenes video. So I just put them over there. So, I, I'll move them back eventually though. Probably tonight, because I'm gonna work on Cora after I finish writing this letter. So I ended up cutting the ribbon and then I super glued it a little bit lower so that this can actually lean back a little bit and hold itself up. And I took the plastics off everything. And it's sad, because I had to take this off, but I put it back on because it just, you know, it looks so plain without it. It's like, oh, sad, I miss my little really floral design and bow so yeah just stuck that back on there and i'm gonna be writing myself a letter not to myself but yeah so i wanted to see just for fun if i could fit my desk in the spare bedroom like i'm i don't really want to move it but i just wanted to see if it would fit or not and it would fit in the room but then the room would be essentially useless because there's this wall that just ruins everything. It's this wall here. It's at an angle compared to the rest of the room. It's super handy for the living room because it's like, ooh, angled towards the TV. But then in here, it just totally ruins this corner because this wall is not long enough for the desk. So I can't put the desk against this wall because the wall curves. So I'd have to put it against this wall. But the problem is the desk comes out so far that I would have like less than a foot between the wall and the desk and so I wouldn't be able to get around the desk to access the space on the other side. So yeah, it wouldn't work like if we ever, I just needed to know in case someday we were ever like, hey, maybe we should put it in there. Yeah, it does not fit. <laughs> so I'm gonna work on Cora a little bit. I'm not gonna be able to finish her just cause I'm so tired. I feel like I should go to bed really soon. It's only 9.40 but I'm like, dying <laughs> I don't know why I'm so sleepy I mean I'm sure the end of daylight savings has something to do with it but like I don't know it would only be 10 40 because it's 9 40 right now and that wouldn't affect me that much so I'm trying to fix up Cora skin colors I've already covered it up but her, her skin colors were really warm and I didn't like that and so I started coloring over top of them and these are the colors I decided to go with to kind of fix it up 
So yeah, the E37 is a little warm looking, but um, yeah, it, 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 it's going to be different because it's not just these colors, it's these colors being layered on top of the old colors. So yeah, let's pull her out here and kind of compare. Just look how orangey she looks compared to these swatches here. So her skin's going to look, one, darker, which is good, and just less warm. Less warm. So that's probably what I will try to tackle. I'm playing a dangerous game. <laughs> dun -dun 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 -dun. Okay, I don't even want to pretend because I'll end up spilling it. Okay, stop touching it. So today was a sad day. I lost the little rubber piece off one of my earbuds. <laughs> And it's sad because, I mean, there are replacements, but they're all different sizes. This is the closest size, but it's bigger, and I tried putting it in my ear, and it's just like, I don't know. It doesn't feel right. So I have these pink ones, <laughs> and this feels the same as this one. But now I'm like, should I switch them both out? I don't know. Also, I have a warranty on these headphones, so I can get up to two replacement pairs for free. So if I really wanted to, I could trade them in, but I don't, I don't need to at this point. I'll wait. And if it's like the end of my, like I'm about to, my warranty's about to run out, then I'll go switch them out. But I mean, they're still fully functional, so I'm just going to keep them for now. Okay, I finished coloring your skin. It's 11.30, so I'm going to go to bed. But I had a disaster. <laughs> I managed to fix it, but I totally screwed up the bridge of her nose because it was way too dark. And so it looked like her nose dipped way in and then had this little like pig nose or something. Oh god, it was bad and I was just scrubbing at it with my colorless blender trying to lift color and I got it to kind of be fixed but the nose was still darker than the cheeks then so I had to like darken her whole face. I think I solved it and I'm actually kind of happy with how the nose turned out. Um, I think overall her skin looks like quite dark, but I think it'll look good once I do her hair in the background and stuff, then it won't look so dark. Because that's the same case with any skin color I do. I feel like I have enough shading and then I color in the rest and it looks too light and like I need more shading. So I think this will turn out for the best in the long run. But I'll show you the back of the paper. That's the bridge of her nose. That is not at all what it looks like on the front, but the color just soaked right through because I was scrubbing so hard at that thing so yeah I think it's turning out okay so yay but yeah that is it for tonight so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow Christian was chasing me so I ran <laughs> he's way behind me now adrenaline <sighs> made it to the elevator oh goodness and Christian's probably like what the heck is she doing <laughs> He was chasing me down the stairs, which is 